Oh yeah. All right, all right. Hello, friends. Jason Donnelly, DJ Puzzle, and this is another iOS music production demonstration on my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Please strike like and subscribe if you want more quality content like this one. Today, I'm super excited to give you a first glimpse. This is a brand new app by Numerical Audio called Mute Master. And it's great within apps like AUM, for example. In fact, this is an AUM composer's dream come true, in my opinion. So let's just dive right into setting it up, because I think that will give you a really uh, insightful and detailed demonstration by starting from the beginning and we'll just walk through the steps real quick setting it up okay so it'll help you understand i think how to use this app right out the gate so what i have here four channels four file players and aum doesn't have to be just audio i have another uh track that I want to show you later, maybe in another video where I don't use any audio. I'm just using um, Rosetta sequencing and a bunch of AU synths and some drums. And it's just, it's just cool. This can, this app is going to open so many doors for you. If you're an AUM guy or girl, sorry, if you're an AUM person, right? So we're going to go ahead and open Mute Master on each channel. And what it does, it's, it's brilliant. It, they're all linked inside. They like sort of work together. And you can have up to eight channels in Mute Master. This case, I'm using four. I don't want to slam my little iPad Air 2. Now, for each one, you want to assign the channel number. So this is channel one, so we're right there in channel one. Channel two. Channel three. And channel four, all right? Now, we've got them all set up, right? I'll expand that so you guys can see it in full screen. All right, so the overall concept is Mute Master will mute and unmute these channels in AUM. You can do a couple different things. You could have uh, patterns set up, okay? So each pattern is a selection of channels you want muted and unmuted. With those patterns, you can tell Mute Master to play them sequentially in order from pattern one through eight. Or you can tell it to play them the patterns backwards from eight to one. You can tell it to choose a random pattern and use probability. Uh, so that's really cool. So you could actually arrange a song, a sequence, with this, or you can do cool kind of glitchy sort of, um, you know, stuff with the probability, like generative sort of, you know, patterns and whatnot. So with that said, let's go ahead and hit play. And now you can see it's choosing, right now I've got it set up to choose a pattern randomly using the probability. So real quick, let's just go over the, the layout with the features here. So, for each pattern, okay, so here's your pattern selector. I've got a different channel activated. So it'll, it'll mute all the other 
channels that aren't illuminated. There's that little LED, that means that's gonna play. I could have those two channels playing in that pattern together. But in this case, I have one for each channel. So a pattern for each channel, okay? I've got it set up to pattern the source. The pattern source is set up by the divisions, okay? You could use that. You could have manual, for example, and you could manually just trigger the mutes on and off sequence and there's your trigger sequencer down there and we'll talk about that for a second and uh let's see divisions and then of course probability and key okay so in this case we're going to use divisions and then the pattern direction i've got set up to random like i said you could go forward and you could have a whole arrangement here and or backwards, okay? Uh, so, and then another thing you wanna set, I only have four patterns, so I have this last pattern set to four. Now, because I wanted to do like a kind of frantic drum and bass thing, I've got the sequence division set to eighth notes, okay? Over here, we've got our chance set to BPM and divide set to BPM, and there's your probability. I've got that all the way up. So that's gonna just kind of make it, you know, choose, 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 choose. Divisions are set to two. You can change the lengths of these so the pattern will play longer or shorter, okay? Um, so then as well, you can use the trigger sequencer. And when these are little LEDs are selected here, every time it reaches that number, it's gonna trigger something, okay? So you could have it triggering here, 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 you know, all right? Or you can just kind of let it do its thing with the probability. So here we go. All right, so now with that said, uh, I believe this was my idea. I, I mentioned to Kai that it'd be cool to have a bypass button. Boom, now all four files are playing, all four channels are playing without being processed through Meet Master. So if you want like a groove to go and then all of a sudden you just want to go boom and now glitch it out and have some fills and, and change it up, do that. Okay, so trigger sequencer. Now another thing you can do is go here. Now set that to quarter notes. Okay, or set it to even. I'm sorry, that was yeah quarter note. Now whole notes. Now look. Okay, not as frantic. can also you can also use the trigger sequencer and we can set that to sequence and hey let's try setting these all to sequence okay now, so if you turn this off, it shouldn't change at all here. You'll see, all right? It's not changing the pattern. It's relying now on the trigger sequence, sequencer, sorry. I can tell it now when I want to trigger a new pattern, okay? So, that's pretty much Mute Master in a nutshell. I hope you guys really enjoyed this demonstration and I hope it uh, makes you want to buy this app because, <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much an insta buy, folks. If you like the video and you enjoyed hanging out here on my channel, please, please subscribe. Check out my Patreon. 
If anything, just strike like and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. I hope you're safe and well out there in these crazy times. It's Jason Donnelly signing out.